What is good friends? I at first didn't want to record today but I'm really hyped because I built this new team and in theory this team is really good and I tested it in the first game that I tested it. It worked all perfectly, everything went well. Um, it was a test game, these 60 hundreds on a different account. So I hope we can get go positive as well on this account. Um, kind of sad that we don't get stall. I wish we got stall because this um, QRM set is specifically just to beat stall on. This guy's 1576. Okay, okay, decent one last way, not the best. So Goninja is a threat, but nothing I can't play around. I have some really... Some people would call it gimmick sets. I would call it heat sets. I don't know. You guys will see later on. I don't want to talk about it immediately. Actually, I will tell you guys some sets. I have um, Stone Edge and Scarf Kaleo. That's not even that uncommon. I have a Solvest Torn. Just check... Um, Faramosa, so my Tapufini doesn't get overwhelmed by Faramosa. This is also a really nice pivot to check um, and knock off Greninja's life up. I can take Ice Beam with my Assault Vest. I can just knock this off here. I don't see what he can do. He's Scarfed. This is completely fine. I just get a free U-turn here. Like, this is not even a problem. I don't know why he went for Psychic. Because I had a um, Jirachi in the back. My Jirachi is bulky. Yeah, I don't know what this guy's doing. So this is just going to be an easy win in my opinion. I mean, I have to be a bit careful, but I don't see how we can break my team. Um, if you look at my team, I'm a bit weak to Scissor, so I put Fire Punch on my Jirachi. It's also nice to um, burn potential Landra switching. Um, I feel like I can just go for HP Fire here, potentially burn his Landra. Or just kill his Tapu Lily if he decides to stay in. Wishing that would have been a better play, but I thought he wouldn't stay in. I don't agree with, with him just sacking his Lily. He could have saved it as fodder. Um, there's some things I wanted to talk about. Also, let me just fix the dimensions. Put it a bit more like that. We have Tapu Fini with a lot of defense to deal with Zygarde, so I, I'm not really worried about this. What did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, okay, he's banned at Zygarde, so this is actually a big problem. I was expecting this sub set. So makes a nice play there going Greninja. Uh, if I Moonblast today, you would have lost to Greninja, so... Interesting play. We will just go hard into Scarf Keldeo here. I think it's up a spike and I don't lose anything from clicking Skull here, so I will just do that. As he just sacks his good ninja, interesting, so that's a big threat gone. So what I wanted to talk about, I don't know if any of you guys have like noticed that, but I was locked yesterday. I don't know if any of you guys have tried to PM me on I was on Padlop's mom lettering with friends and we all got locked because some guy decided he also had the password we call with him, we ladder with him and he decided to talk shit in the Spanish room and he got locked and like five or six people that locked into the account they all got locked but yeah thankfully it got um, removed um, we are free again the lock got removed and I also said sorry in the Spanish room which was that was really funny today I might have to post the screenshot I will post the screenshot later on Twitter so follow me on Twitter um, I said sorry in the Spanish room people said oh please talk Spanish I just wanted to <laughs> say sorry <laughs> that was funny so yeah let's just go hard into land we have Yachi Bear on this by the way which is really nice to take Ice Punch from Mega Metagross to take um, HP Ice from opposing Landris. Um, I feel like he's gonna go. <laughs> I feel like HPS is just a good play here. It goes hard for a Mosa, okay. So this is a bit scary if he goes for Kuvalence here. Um. Okay, this is really scary. I have to be careful that I don't get swept by Kuvalence. Because he didn't show a Z move. This was Scarf. This was, um. I think this was a live up when he showed the spikes only. And then I revenged him with Scarf kill. Uh, Lando has to be his rocker if it's not Metagross. And then it's Bandit Zayat and probably Z move on this. Um. I'm gonna go hard into Torn. As he goes for cool ends. I really hope that I can somehow. I hope that I can take a hit here. Uh, I can take the hit, please connect. 
Reconnect, amazing, amazing. Oh my god, that was such a scary situation. That could and Thermo also could have swept me there. Since my type of Fini took prior damage and is more fist death orientated. But uh, Thor was torn with HP Rock. You guys might think this is super weird. I don't have stab on this. I get walled by Venus, so. But HP Rock, this is my Zard White check. This, and when I was thinking about this, when I built this team, I realized I was weak to. St like, I was just going through this threat list and I was like, what do I have for Pinsa? And I realized I have Scarf Kill you for Pinsa. And with Stone Edge, and I have HP Rock on Torn. So even if I get, get up an SD, I can take a quick attack. And I can be fine with that. What does my Tornadoes do at this point? Uh, I honestly don't need my Tornadoes, so if he has Bullet Punch, that's completely fine with me. I'm just gonna try to get damage off as I miss. And he goes for Rock Polish. Amazing, amazing. I should have U-turned that, that was my fault. Uh, he said sorry. It's okay, as long as I don't lose this game, I'm not gonna get too, too salty. Um, I might actually just lose this now. Um, I don't get off the Intimidate now, but I have a Yachi Berry. And I can go for off quick here. If he crits or freezes me here, I can just click X. So he goes into his own lander, so which is okay. Um, I think this just gives my Kyurem a free sub. Oh, it gives me a free switch into Keld. I feel like going Keld here is a better play. Oh, going Fini. Going Fini is also nice here. As yeah, I can just defog all his hazards away. Amazing. Okay, few we should still win this. Gotta be careful around the middle grass. Yeah, that T-Wave myth was really annoying. Um, I'm just gonna spam Defog here. You can kill my type of Fini if you wanna. Um. Now watch this, we're gonna go hard cure him now. She had land would have been a stun play. Okay, he goes for SD there. He's gonna fear the ice beam. We're gonna go for sub here. Um, actually, we're gonna go. We're gonna go for sub. Yeah, exactly. He breaks the ice beam. We get up our substitute, and we can go for fusion bolt to get damage on this. Which is amazing. If he doesn't Mega Wolf, this will do a lot of damage. I really hope he face some Shedinja stall next game. Something like that. So Mega Wolf, which is he Mega Wolf funded, which is amazing. So I can get an Intimidate off. Um that fusion bolt didn't do much because of my bulky spread. I think I wanna set my Tapu Fini here. I don't wanna go hard landers. Hopefully he doesn't get a boost. If he gets a boost, that would be really bad. Yeah, I can go Landorus now. And I'm just gonna click off quick or rocks. Ah, off quick. I have to click off quick, yeah. It's too big of a threat. Thankfully he doesn't get a boost and we kill him. Amazing. We should have this in the bag. I mean, I have to still be careful about the Zygarde. The Zygarde is a problem because I don't have an ice move on my cure. Yeah, the Zygarde is still a big problem. Um, I don't have an Intimidate off, so it's not over yet. He said GG, well played. I'm gonna set my Jirachi here because it doesn't do shit this game. Hopefully he doesn't crit me. Gonna go Landorus. Click HP eyes. So he goes to his own Landorus. Um, I don't think he can kill me if he says D. But yeah, I'm not gonna sack this off. I'm just gonna go kill you here. I wanna keep the Intimidate for his Kyurem. Uh, for his Zygarde. Like, I really didn't feel like recording today, but this team, like... Something about this team, like... Just got me into the mood of recording. Like, I was just working this Kyurem EV spread. I EV'd this a specific way, so Duck Trio cannot if Revenge kill me. Yeah, we will just get damage off. Hopefully we get the burn. That does a lot. He goes for Outrage. So we can still lose this if he gets a crit. Um, 
We actually got critted there, come on! Yeah, but... That doesn't kill... Dude, I lose now! Hit yourself for justice, yeah, justice. Oh my god, not having eyes move. I actually lose now! Oh god, I live. GG. Oh my god, I almost lost because of that. QBS 1638. Let me pause that real quick. Okay, okay. Whew, we almost lost that to Hanks. I'm pretty sure I'll live in, live in Outrage because I'm max defense on my landers. I know Thousand Arrows does around 30% to landers. I don't think Outrage would kill at 41. Maybe uh, maybe with a max but I doubt it. Okay, we got this team from the forums. I think this is an RMG. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look up at this guy's sets. Kekovich, Mabakovich. Um... I'm not trying to lose. I mean, yeah, you can obviously change it up. But yeah, this is um, a Sijuma's team, if I recall correctly. So it's Stelium Majorna, Life of Greninja, Helmet Landorus. Metagross doesn't have Ice Punch. Okay, okay. Metagross is walled by Majorachi. Okay, this is an amazing matchup, honestly. Um, what does this Greninja set? This Greninja is walled by Jirachi. Yeah, Jirachi is a great lead. Jirachi was his, if he didn't change any sets, Jirachi was his entire team. So yeah, I guess he could have changed this, and he could be dark pulled. So this is something I have to watch out for. Um, this is the same set: Spike, Skunk, Shot, Ice Beam, Loki. Um, I don't think he can touch me. <laughs> no, he cannot. But yeah, if he specs Good Ninja, which I have to. Uh, Account for I'm just gonna go Tapu Fini because if he yeah actually yeah I noticed yeah okay 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 I'm just gonna go back to Raji yeah so he's probably gonna figure that out I'm just I'm not gonna get gunk shot it I know his set now so I know he didn't change the team so now I can just play as so now I can just play as if I have the team here open I know this is kind of scummy what I'm doing Landreth okay okay. Just fire punch to get a potential burn on the landers. I don't know why he's just going for spikes like that. Um, I'm gonna just go for wish here. Like he's throwing up these spikes, but like, do I really care about your spikes, dude? I can burn your landers. Please get the burn. Like you're in the air. You're not protected by Misty Train. You don't get a burn. He's kind of forced to U-turn here. Because if he rocks here, just get a free defog. So this makes me want to go into Torn. Yeah, exactly. There's no way you just give me the free defog. If I go Finny there and he goes for rocks. I want to say something else. I wanted to talk about something else, but I forgot. Um, This has Ice Beam, but... I can just go for um, HP Rocky. Let me actually look at the Fermosa set. The Fermosa was scarfed. Okay, okay. I don't know if I want to take an Ice Beam. Um, yeah, let's just go for HP Rocky. Hopefully, we don't get crit or frozen. As we get crit. Okay, dude. This is exact. I should have gone to Jirachi. I knew my Jirachi Waltz is sent. Dude, this is so painful. Like, I know I looked up as sad, but. <sighs> Just go for a wish. And we're gonna pass this into my type of Fini. Losing Torn means I don't have. Something to outspeed his Metagross, something... A second, I lose a secondary check to his Fermosa. And he, yeah, he can just make this aggressive play, like... 
This is so awful, like him locking me there. This Greninja would have been dead. Your Greninja would have been dead, dude. Like, this is just... Oh. Like, he's gonna keep you training, right? Oh, he keeps you turning. I should have stayed in there. Yeah, I guess he has to make this play. I should have stayed in there. I could have gone for fire punch, fish for burn. I'm going for iron head flinch. Yeah, I don't know if I can win this now. Good God! Like I knew this team is really decent. If I don't, so the the first guy hacks me and we somehow won that and. This guy also has to. I, I know his team, so I guess I have the advantage, but the hex just put me in the bag. Like, I didn't make any plays, I played safe just because I knew his team. Yeah, this guy doesn't have the bad win, best win loss ratio. Um, this guy also doesn't have many points, so if I lose this, I lose a lot of points, which would be super annoying. Um, yeah, if you could please play a bit faster, dude, that would be really nice of you. Um, I don't know if I explained everything about my team. Scarf, Stone Edge, Keldy with for Zard Y and uh, Volcarona. We have a minus defense nature because otherwise Stone Edge is a roll to kill Volcarona from full. And the Krium set is still in work, work in progress. Also gotta give shoutouts to BTP because I saw it. Like he used the set. Um, but yeah, I made my own EV spread. I don't know his EV spread. Um, this is Specs type of Lily, so... This is, I think he's just gonna go for Psychic here, cause... If he goes for HP fire, he just gives me the defog, so... I'm not gonna go off him going for the Psychic move here. Which, which is what he does, and he gets a Spadaf drop. <laughs> Come on, dude. Um, I still don't think he can kill me. Yeah, he cannot. I'm forced to protect here, this is so annoying. Like, this Jirachi balls his entire team. But he keeps hexing it. <sighs> Just gonna go Landorus here, because he might eventually go for Earthquake. Which is what he does. You can go for HBIs here. To weaken him if he stays in, but he doesn't stay in. You didn't think that would have been amazing. You didn't think that would have been so good, I don't know why I didn't you turn because I, uh, I have a Yachi Berry and I would have killed this Greninja. Yeah, these hazards up. I'm gonna go Jirachi again, but this is just so bad, like... <laughs> this Greninja should have been dead ages ago. <laughs> I still had a tornado to outspeed stuff like, um, Tabu Lila and, um... Metagross. Just gonna protect here. I need this healthy. Go for that. So I'm gonna go tap of Fini. I think U turns again, yeah. So this guy's just playing aggressive. So I could have stayed in with my Jirachi again. Rip. Yeah, this is. This is such a rough matchup now. I just want to skip turns because I'm so scared every time he attacks. I just want to know how much damage I take. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I just felt like I made a really decent team. And it's just sad to see getting hexed on a ladder like this, but... Um, I will probably use this team multiple episodes because I just feel like... We, as we get higher on the ladder, we will face... I see this guy's really pretty aggressive. Um... We will face stall, right, as we get higher on the ladder, as we're gonna go Landris here. Yeah. And I'm just gonna HPS again. Like, I'm not over predicting. I have Yachi Berry to eat up your HPIs, do a lot of damage to you. Actually, going Fini there would have been amazing, but not worth the risk. Um. Just gonna U-turn here. 
since he's um defensive landers. I mean, I have his team here. I can check how much speed he runs. 225. I'm pretty sure I'd speed him with Feeny. Yeah, yeah I, would outspe I would speed him with Feeny. I can go for Defog. Get rid of all these five bajillion hazards. I also have an Intimidate, so as long as he doesn't crit me, I should live any hit easily. We finally get rid of all these hazards, which is what I needed. I'm still positive that I can win this game. I just have to be careful that I don't lose my Tabufini so I can check his Fermosa. Since I lost my other decent answer, he's probably just gonna spike, but I have a freeze Jirachi of my life. Jirachi was the entire team, dude, like... This game is pretty much locked up. I don't think I can lose this. Despite the hacks that he got. As long as I don't choke or get hexed more, I don't think I can lose. I just have to... <laughs> Watch out, what a threat. So this mana was set as well by Jirachi, you have to keep Jirachi. Yeah, like I said, Jirachi basically wants his entire team besides Landris and Formosa, so I just have to not stay in on this and I'm fine. I feel like going Curum here is an okay play. He goes for Stealth Rock, which I don't agree with. Really bad play in my opinion, but okay. I can go for Substitute here, because... He cannot break my substitute, I'm really bulky Curum set. And yeah, I'm also faster than defensive Landris. This is so amazing. As oh my god, never mind, he breaks the substitute. Okay, so he's not gonna let me set up. Which means I'm gonna have to iron head and this doesn't even kill. So I took a lot of damage on my Curum. But yeah, my Curum was not important this much. But yeah, I just lost a lot of health. So now you can go into Scar for Mosa or into Regina. I already knew when I made this team that this Qum is not the best with his offense, but it's honestly a really good Greninja check if Greninja runs Dark Pulse and Majirachi cannot check it because I run like max HP on this. If I get, if I knock off the life of my turn, I can check it really well. So this this is hammer arm if I recall correctly, right? Yeah. I mean you could always change it to earthquake. I'm just gonna sack this. Hopefully he doesn't get a medium mesh boost. That would be the worst. If he gets a mesh boost, I'm gonna get so mad. Also wasted my okay, get the dodge, which is some nice justice. Like this guy hacked me earlier, like that's just deserved. Um if he gets the raise now that would be nice. Okay, good. Hmm. You can go to Rachi here and click protect. Actually, I can click wish. I don't have a reason to click protect. Like, even if he has earthquake, it doesn't kill me unless he crits. So he's going for mash raises. And he gets the mash raise. Okay, okay. So this is gonna be annoying. But yeah, this is what I have to deal with now. Could have gone for protect last turn and he wouldn't have gotten the raise, but that's always. Easier to say afterwards, he's going for Zenhead, but for some reason. I'm gonna wish again, because if he goes for the. Oh my god, that's so much. If he goes for Hammer Arm. Hammer Arm actually kills me if Mesh does 43. Metal Gross, damn. Like, him missing Mesh was not. didn't matter at all, but him getting a boost matters. This is why Metagross needs to be banned. Like, I know... Yeah, if I, I still have my Tornadoes, like, to get chip damage on him. Um... How much does Hammer on do a plus one? God, I might lose this game because of hacks. 56 to... Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go Landers here. I mean, he can just mash, obviously, but I would just want to get the Intimidate off. See, so, yeah, he just mashes. If I go to Keldeo now... If I go to Keldeo now... How much does Keldeo do to Mana Grass? Hydro Pump probably kills, but I will have to hit a Hydro Pump. Yeah, Hydro Pump doesn't even kill. Which means I'm just gonna go for Scald. Actually, Hydro Pump kills, what am I talking? Nah, I need Max Roll. Yeah, I'd rather just go for Scald and potentially get a burn. No burn, no justice. 
And I'll probably lose this game now. So I just have to hope that he doesn't get... Any more raises. If he gets any more raises, it's, it's so over, like... I also kind of lose to his... Um, I kind of lose to his Formosa now, but... I don't regret any plays this game besides... Um, I don't know, I feel like I played well this game. There were a few times where I could have played different, but... Like, what is this gonna do? This is Skull for Musa. I guess he could have changed it to Quiver Dance. But nah, he had everything, he had everything the same. If he changed it to Quiver Dance, props to you. But I'm definitely gonna go for that. Because I will have to keep my Jiraji healthy. Yeah, my Jiraji can still win this match. If I kill this Greninja the first time and uh, after I defogged he wouldn't have gotten all these heads up. Um, how much does HP fire I do? I just want to make sure that I'm out of range from a crit. Shirachi versus uh, Tapu Lele. I know his specs. Is he timid or modest? He's timid specs. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can live with even a crit then. HP fire does 36 to 42, so a crit would kill me. Um, how much of a crit do? 53 to 63. Yeah, I'm not risking getting crit. I'm gonna go for Iron Head here. And you get a crit there, which uh, I don't know if I wanted that crit. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have all good. Um, but yeah. Um, he just doesn't. <laughs> If he just doesn't get a boost, that should be fine. If he doesn't get a boost there, and I should go for Fire Punch here, so get health back. Kill us Metagross, and I should win this now. Let's fucking go. Hex cannot stop me. Hex cannot stop me. This team is the future. Yeah, I just Fire Punch this. Like, you don't beat me. I'm a spit of Jiraji. This is like... I mean, yeah, I had a really, really good matchup this game, but... This bond doesn't really matter. I mean, this guy got some hacks to make it close. And I played safe this game for the most part. I didn't really make any plays because I didn't feel like I have to make any plays. We're gonna get one more after this. I hope it's not gonna take too, too long. It goes for Z-Move there. That was a bad play by me not predicting that. But now I'm still out of I'm still out of range, even from a crit from Fermosa. HJK crit actually might kill me still. Oh yeah, also what I wanted to tell you guys, um, Top Tube I might like a video about editing, right? And how to do edits and stuff, and I feel like I already kind of knew how to make edits, but I never really tried. And I feel like it was kind of complicated, like, cause, like, he already, also used, he already used Sony Vegas for like a few years, or something, like, he's used to it. And I'm not really used to it, as I'm gonna say GG here. So I will just have to try around myself. I feel like if he gets a crit there, thankfully that didn't cost me. Nice, we are 1652. Okay, amazing. Hopefully we can keep the positive going. So yeah, I'm trying to do some edits. I'm gonna do easy edits at first and we get a stall team. This is what I was dreaming about. This is my dream. Um, I just have to play my Qun perfectly this game and I win. So versus mm, Sableye, I just leave it Tapu Fini, so so I don't get burned with my Kyurem if I bring it in, and I have to be careful that I don't get knocked off. Um, so I bring my Kyurem in on either Toxapex or on Chansey, right? The only problem is he has a Jirachi. Jirachi checks my Kyurem set. If he had a different stall team, my Kyurem would actually just six zero him. But yeah, I can still put in work with my Qurum, I just have to play smart, let me check this guy's rank. Um, yeah, this is almost what I wanted, if he didn't, if he had a Clefable over the Jirachi, this would have been my dream and I could have 6 out. <laughs> if he goes for Protect. Um, okay, this guy doesn't have good win-loss ratio. 
Just gonna play it safe. He's either gonna he's either gonna knock here. Um, I feel like keeping the leftovers on top of Fini is really good. So, but yeah, let's just move this. I don't want to lose my thing. So if he gets in this, and I can just taunt this. If he goes back to Sable, I good play. But yeah, I can taunt this, and if he stays in here, I just get a free cure him. If he tries to scout me, yeah, now my cure him is in, and the destruction begins. Cause the thing is, he might not go to Jirachi at first. He might go into his Chansey at first. And this will give me a free home claws boost. If he goes to Changros, I'm pretty sure I can sub up on this. I really hope we can just destroy him as he decides to go Jirachi, never mind then. Really unfortunate that he decided to go Jirachi. Usually he should have gone Chansey first, because what if I had off power? Hmm. Could be the rocker actually. Just gonna iron head for some chip damage as he's faster. So is he's with how much we do I run on my Jirachi? Let me see. 244. So yeah, he doesn't have, he's not max speed, he's left he's I'm just a bulky spread and I'm gonna go to my Landris. So yeah, I wanted to go Fini, but I didn't think this would be the rocker. This is gonna be, I have to be really patient, I have to stall his Jirachis out of Iron Heads, this is just gonna be a pain. Um, he doesn't have hard control, so he's forced to go Sableye. Which means I can go for U-turn here, bring in my Tapu Fini and go for Defog. Um, yes, he can go for Knockoff, predicting that. Nah, I'm gonna go for Moonblast. It's too risky. Like, I don't wanna... If he knocks off my leftovers, I at least want damage on a Sable. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So yeah, at least he has to pay for knocking off, and I'm gonna put it in the switch and defog here. As, okay, my fault. I should've killed the Sable right there. Okay, that was my fault. I had no reason. Uh, hmm. He's gonna switch now. That's just nature's man. is all taunt. There's Toxapex here. Yeah, if I just killed the Sable there, it would have been over. I would have gotten rocks up, yeah. It wouldn't have been over, but I would have been in such a good position. But yeah, I just have to be patient and I can win this. He's gonna go Jirachi here, so I wanna go to Torn to knock off his lefties. He should go to Sableye, but... I don't really care if he goes Sable. As he lets me knock off his Jirachi, amazing. This is just beautiful as I get a free U turn here. She, I could have gone for Heat Wave there. This gives me my Landris. And this basically gives me a U turn or Earthquake. Yeah, I'm just gonna U turn. Thing. Yeah, okay. He's just gonna get his wish back. Mm, yeah, I sh shouldn't have all predicted around the Sable, especially since I thought this guy had a bad win loss ratio. But I still feel like I can win this game if I just play smart. Just gonna go cure him here and uh, set up a substitute. Like, I know he has a Jirachi, but his Jirachi is weakened. So, yeah. Yeah, actually, him letting the Jirachi get knocked off was a huge mistake. Yeah, this guy just fucked up. Oh, he has foul play over knockoff? Okay, this guy is a counter team. Because usually knockoff wouldn't break the substitute. But yeah, foul play obviously breaks the substitute. <laughs> nice counter team guy. The one Sable I would foul play. He doesn't have Wolo with, that's not a sad. So, Jirachi or. Jirachi or Pax coming out here. Which means I'm gonna taunt here so he cannot go for a wish or Delphra. And I'm just gonna go into my Torn on my Landris. Yeah, just going 
Now just going Landris is fine because I can just click, keep clicking U-turn since he's forced to go Sableye every time. I guess he could be Defog Glithgore, but if he's Defog Glithgore he doesn't have Poison Heal and that's not a threat. So yeah, this is gonna take forever to break his team, but I just have to be patient. I don't have to be... I cannot afford to play fast and mess up. This has been going so well, like we won every game besides the hacks so far. So I don't want to mess it up. Just gonna click off quick here. Not messing around with the toxic packs. Um, yeah, just clicking off quick here. Um, I could have stealth rock there, would have been amazing. As he went for recover, gonna U turn now, break him in to go Sableye or Gliscor. As he stays in, which is a bad play in my opinion. But if he gets T spikes up now, he can burn my Tempofini. So I actually didn't calc this. If he skull burns me, I'm in a bad position. I didn't think this place will rip. If he's god burns me, this is gonna be so bad. Thankfully, he doesn't burn me. If he T spikes again, I'm gonna get poisoned, so I'm gonna taunt him. Don't get burned. And I can go to taunt here, because if my taunt gets burned, I don't care. And he cannot T spike. So I got a bit lucky that he didn't burn me. And I will just have to see that I can. Um, I will just have to see. I don't know why he let me knock this off, but whatever. This guy's bad. I will just have to see that I get a wish pass, which is what I'm gonna try now. Go to Jirachi, try to wish pass. Thankfully, he doesn't have a duck trio. Duck trio is actually really annoying for this team if he traps my Jirachi. So, yeah, this life might be. This might go up to 50 minutes, but I don't care. I'm gonna show you guys how to stay patient, not mess up with the stall. Um, but this is a good stall player, I feel like, um... This would've been super tough, but his stall team is not really that good. Since, like, he didn't, he let his Jirachi get knocked off, which was a huge mistake. But, for some reason, he didn't have fall play on his save line, he didn't have Willow Wisp, so... Because otherwise, I would've gotten a free substitute with my Kyurem, I would've just destroyed his entire team. Because his Jirachi was already weakened, right? As I don't want to let this get knocked off, so... Just gonna go to Torn here, because I don't need my Assaultless in this match. Like, uh, uh, my Assaultless doesn't do anything this match, so... I'm just gonna knock... Oh, you John. I feel like knocking is fine. So yeah, he makes the Toxic looks play again. I don't agree with this... How this guy's playing. Um... Let's you turn now. The thing is, now he gets another chance to burn my... Type of Phoenix Metarin will end. Which is just so bad. <sighs> I mean he will burn me eventually. If he doesn't burn me there. Gonna go to Tawny. Predicting him to go for Scald. Gonna U turn back into my Phoenix so he cannot um Skull burn anything. Yeah, this is just gonna be maybe boring to watch, but also interesting for you guys to see how to beat Stall. I mean, I'm hopefully gonna be able to win this game. I think I'm gonna be able to win this one. So, yeah, we can go for Taunt here. Now we can go to Cure him here, put some pressure on his team. If he goes for T-Spikes, that's a really bad play. Going for Skull is even a worse play, because he just gave Makirum a free substitute. So now he has to deal with this big, big threat. Like, what are you gonna do now? Okay, he has a Sable Island, I forgot. Hmm. Just gonna Fusion Bolt, get some damage. Yeah, okay, I got a bit too jive there. Missy turn ends next turn. I'm gonna go Tawny and then you turn out. I mean, I will just have to waste recover some Sable. He wasted recover there, which is a really bad play. I mean, he predicted me to attack again, but that, that just was not a good play. Go back Fini. Yeah, but you guys see my Fini is getting chipped. Um, so I will have to try and wish pass it up.
I'm gonna actually go to Jirachi here as he stays in. Never mind, I'm faster. For some reason, I thought he stayed in. Gonna wish here he cannot burn me since I have the Misty Terrain. And I will get the Wish Pass into my, um... I will wish get the, the Wish Pass into my Tapu Fini, which is just amazing. And yeah, this guy just messed up. He should have gone into Tangles there, preventing... Like, he should have gone to Tangles there. Because Tangles could have prevented my Tapu Fini from healing. Yeah, okay, now he can potentially heal his Jirachi, um... Yeah, it speeds my Fini, so... Just gonna go Landris here. He's gonna wish, um, but it's completely fine. I'm just gonna... You turn out. I could go for rocks here, but the risk of Mega Saber coming in is now nah, rocking there would have been game over for him. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep clicking. U turn. In case he makes a Glasgow play, and now we will find out if he is. Now we will find out which type of Glasgow he is. If he's poison orb, or if he's he is poison orb, okay. So I will just gold here, so that's a potential burn on his Toxic Packs. Or on his Tangos, if I get this burn, this would be lovely. So he's not a Solvest, he's a Leftover, so I did a lot. Tornado is always a switch in, I don't... Like, I don't need my Tornado at 100%, I mean, this doesn't even do anything. And putting this to sleep also doesn't do anything, because... Like, I just stay in. What are you gonna do to me? Leech Seed. Okay, fine. Like, this battle might take forever. Um, I actually should- I should put, make a cut or something, because it's probably gonna be so boring to watch, but... I'm super confident that we can win this match, like, honestly. I don't even care if I'm repeating myself. And I don't even care anymore that I only slept four hours. I'm so happy that... This team is working out. Um, yeah, okay, so what I, what I wanted to tell you guys, usually, um... Some type of some stall teams. My type of Fini would have been really really low at the moment if I didn't have the wish pass. So this is how stall wins. Like they wear down your stuff and shit. Like, but I obviously was prepared for stall when I made this team, right? I was like, I'm not trying to lose to stall. So I made a specific team set, and of course this guy is a bit different of a stall team, so. Oh my, my computer is about to die, let me plug in my charger. This guy's a bit different of a stall type of a stall team. If he had a standard stall team with Clefable, like I said earlier, my Cube would just run through the 6. Besides the Sableye, cause... Actually, yeah, my Cube would set up on Sableye. But this guy has <laughs> the weirdest Sableye set I've ever seen. Knock off, foul play, protect, recover, that's not a set. He doesn't have will o -Wisp, So, I don't know what this guy's win condition is. This guy's win condition is just PP stalling your opponent, I don't know. Because <laughs> like he doesn't have Wolves on Sable, like he, so he his only way to get bronze is um, Toxic Packs. Unless he's Slap on Jirachi, which I don't think he has. Now he has Iron Head Staff for Push Protect. Just gonna go for Earthquake here, predicting his Sableye to come out. So he makes the Sableye play, amazing. Because just, just attacking his Sableye is gonna make him waste recovers, right? And I always go on the tab of Vinian Defog on this. Um, yeah, if he had Willowis now, I would have been in a bad position here, but thankfully he doesn't have that. Uh, he can go Toxic Bix here, and if he gets a burn, then it's gonna be annoying. I kinda wanna Scald, he breaks into Toxic Bix, I should've done that, yeah. Uh, Taunt, my, I mean, did I say Scald? Gonna Taunt here, so he cannot T Spikes. I just have to hope that I don't get Scald, but I mean, he will eventually get the Scald burn. So yeah, this might be... Okay, amazing, we outplay him there. Now he's gonna go for Scald, I guess. Tornado is really, like I said earlier, doesn't care if it gets burned. Go to Tangos, this is just... A free knockoff of U-turn. U-turn is my better play, but for some reason he lets this get knocked off. And I can just U-turn the following turn. I don't know what this guy's doing, like, he's just letting... Okay, what is he doing? This was a misplay on my part. But yeah, I'm gonna go Landris here, because I don't need my Yachi Berry. And I can go for U-turn, because he's kind of forced to go Sableye, because otherwise rocks go up and... 
Yeah, if I went for rocks, there would have been game over. I guess maybe he has HP eyes. Okay, I shouldn't. I, I'm not going to switch my tornadoes out, but this is Tangwiz, because this guy's so bad. Like, he's just staying in. If I heat wave your Tangwiz, is dead, and you just lose one one. <laughs> so, this is going to be a super long episode for some reason, because this, this guy decided to bring AIDS team. But yeah, I will gladly destroy this guy for you. Um, this could be SD, which is. Oh my god, do I even have an answer for that? Uh, I think I'm just gonna go hard kill here because I don't want to deal with the... Okay, substitute. So it's probably gonna be toxic. Which means I think Tornado just walls this. Yeah, like... <laughs> this guy's team is so bad. Like, I think this guy is kind of new to Pokemon. I don't want to shit talk him, but... Like, he cannot touch me like this. This is one of the worst stall teams I've ever seen. <laughs> he switches out, um, I don't wake up here, but I'm gonna wake up now, get the U-turn into my Tapu Fini. Like, this guy literally has the worst ult I've ever seen. The only problem is, Default only has 24 PP, so this is gonna be really annoying. Eventually he will get up cheese spikes or rocks, so I'm, I'm just gonna... Hmm. The thing is, I really, like I said earlier, I don't wanna make any fast plays and try to like break his team or anything because this guy is just playing super weird just gonna heat wave now because for some reason this guy yeah I, this guy just sacked his tank with like that crit might have mattered but i don't really care you just deserve to lose your tank with if you stay in with tank with on a tornadoes if you stay in with tank with on a tornadoes you deserve to lose like this guy is bad i don't know why i said gg already i thought i thought he would forfeit because he said gg Who says GG and doesn't forfeit? As uh, so he can scald burn me here, so I'm gonna pr predict him to go for scald, go into my tornadoes. So he switches out into Chansey. I will try to knock this off. If he lets me, yeah, this guy is so bad. Stop using all if you don't know how um i guess i'm a bit harsh i'm a bit shit talk rich today but this like this guy is really not playing like he, he if he would play this well he actually had the tools to stall me out but he's not doing his, a good job at it um just gonna taunt this not trying to get these bikes up just a free cure on here just some free leftovers yeah, this guy let his Toxapex knocked off, got his Tangwiz knocked off, then sacked his Tangwiz, he let his Chansey get knocked off, he let his Jirachi get knocked off. He has a Sableye without will wisp He has no Hatter removal on stall. Um, he has a sub-toxic Lisco, which is just a bad, sad, um, I don't know. And when I have this, when I have his Jirachi stall off of Iron Heads... Um... So like if I if I cannot break his team now, eventually I will break his team if I have stalled out Jirachi out of Iron Heads. So we have 21 more Iron Heads to start out and then my QM goes in on his team. He only has to say then to check me that I will start out of recover. Um gonna U turn here. I just don't wanna go for rocks because as I say if I went for rocks they are one, but that was not worth the risk in my opinion. I guess going for rocks would have been a nice play. And the Misty Terrain ends here, so I can fish for I can fish for a Scald Burn on a Toxapex if he goes into that. That will also finally um, be some progress for me. But yeah, like just the way this guy is playing, I don't really think he can beat me. If he was actually confident, if he was actually confident and knew how to use stall, I would say he had it shot but oof. I mean he still has a slight chance but I don't think like just the way he sacked his tank was early he's gonna eventually sack something else and his team is just gonna fall apart my Hume is gonna run just gonna run through in the late game as he's gonna cheese spike um, okay nice play just gonna defog again and yeah he cannot try to outplay me here this is a bit annoying But 
Yeah, yeah, he's which is there, and I'm just going into tornadoes here. So this is toxic heal by the south bolt seismic toss, I assume. But this guy's running some wild sets, so he might have wish or T wave or stealth rock, double stealth rock. I have no idea. This guy's our team. I'm really sorry, guys, that you have to watch that the video is already 15 minutes, but guy decided to be scum and bring stall and sadly a stall team that is um, not steamrolled by Makirum. As he wastes the recover there for some reason, he wasn't even weakened. Just gonna go back to Torn here. Just to get Misty to run back up later on. He let this get knocked off earlier. Hmm. Just gonna U turn. I don't think this does anything, yeah. Like, I don't need to PP on U turn. I have 20 left. It's not like U turn it does anything, it's just for utility. Um, just going Landris here is fine. My Landris is still healthy. Yeah, Landris forces in a Sableye. He goes Toxapex. Gonna go cure him here. Gonna go Tabufini. The reason I went cure him is just to get some leftovers. I'm slowly healing my cure him back up. But yeah, like I said earlier, it is kind of interesting to see how. I'm just patient trying to break this guy's team somehow. I'm, I'm actually not even playing this flawlessly. Um, you guys can criticize me. He goes for haze there, so he shows me that he has 500 million PP. Which is fine with me, I don't really care. Um, this is just a free curum. Um, if I just get a skull burn with my Keldeo on his Toxapex, this would be so much easier. He still has a chance to do to get heal off, but yeah. I could double switch around predicting his chance to ma and maybe pressure that. Goes Jirachi there. Which means I'm just gonna go Landris. Just gonna off quick here. If he goes into Sable, yeah, we get damage off. And if he goes into Glisco, I don't actually care because Glisco is not a threat. Um, since this doesn't even have. Since this doesn't even have Wolves, I'm just gonna off quick again. Make him waste his recovers. Just gonna U turn here in the tap of Fini the defog. Yeah, this is also gonna be annoying for me to upload. God, he foul played there. If I got a crit there or oh, two high rolls, I could have tweet KO'd him with Earthquake. Yeah, nice choke, dude. Too bad I didn't stay in. Because again, I wasted the defog PP. I only have 14 defogs left. I have to be a bit careful. But just the way the guy is playing, like I said a few times earlier. I feel like he will mess up eventually. This is just a free cure him again. Get some more lefties. Yeah, we all missed on our turns in. Yeah, this is the annoying thing about this is not only the... Like, this is gonna be a pain for you guys to watch, number one. And number two, by going for Honklos, I force him. I force him to go for Iron Head because I I tell him I'm a cure, I'm a threat. You don't play around with me. Um, I know his entire move set, so my Jirachi walls him. But yeah, I just feel like this is a good way to go about this by going for Honklos. I force him to waste uh, PP. I can go for Fire Bunch, try and burn his Toxic Packs. As he goes for rocks there, hopefully we can get burn on this Jirachi. So we don't get a burn, we're just gonna go for wish here, cause I don't, my type of is getting low. He does the same, I don't really care. Yeah, I just gotta be careful about my default PP, that's the only thing I'm worried about, that he will eventually get up rocks. Just gonna defog on this. He's trying to flinch me and it works. Okay, so I'm not staying in then. Just going back into Jirachi. But I mean, if he's wasting his Iron Heads, this is completely fine with me. Like, you just have 17 left. So, like, Makurum, Makurum just wins. What is he doing? Like, Makurum actually just wins this if he wastes his Iron Heads. 
Yeah, what I meant to say earlier, this is also gonna be annoying for me because this will be like one point. F this will be like two gigabyte. This this thing I'm recording, this big thing I'm recording. Just gonna taunt this so he cannot go for cheese bikes. Oh rip! I forgot the terrain ended. Um, if he skulls burns me here, that's bad. I'm not gonna risk him skull burning me here. I'm gonna go into torn. And you turn out back into my type of Fini. I mean, earlier I risked the scorp when I thankfully didn't get it. And now we can go for defog. Has his taunt was off, so we can technically go for cheese spikes here. The thing is, his top toxic bikes is out of is out of uh, scalds. If his toxic bikes is out of scalds, it's also gonna be. Go Sable there for some reason. Like I'm just gonna mobilize this. I don't really care if he goes into Jirachi here and I waste the PP. Like what is this guy? Yeah, okay. Makes okay, he makes me waste the PP there. I guess that was I fell I fell for his bait. Um but he doesn't have leftovers, so every chip damage on this is nice. Um I guess I should have gone to my own landers and try to get rocks up because the sable is low, yeah. That's what I should have done. Gonna go Tron here, breathing his. Okay, I thought he was gonna put packs. Just gonna U turn on this, get some chip. Put my Fini back in the defog again. I don't know what this guy said GG like 20 turns ago and then forfeit. I mean, he still has a win condition, obviously, but. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry, guys, that you have to go through this. But I decided to record for you guys. Despite the fact. Despite, um, actually, let's just taunt here. I decided to record for you guys. Even though I only slept four hours, I didn't feel like recording. But when I tested this team, I just was like, I have to record with this team. This team is so powerful. Like, in, th in theory, this team can beat a lot of matchups, and. Like, obviously, this team is, has flaws. Like, one big threat is, um,. Volcarona of my team gets beaten to bit. Uh, the Z Volcarona of rocks up. I mean, I have HP Rock and Torn, but uh, I haven't cocked yet. If I live a hit from that, just gonna go Landris here. Because the Sable is um, at 68. So yeah, I'm gonna off quick here. If he makes the Glithgow play, as we will. He got me there. If I went for rocks, that would have been nice. Um, he's walled by Tornado, so I'm just gonna go Torn. Yeah, I just gotta be careful there, don't mess up. I wanted to Earthquake again there. I guess I can start saving my U-turn PP, because it's actually not worth it to waste my U-turn PP versus the Toxic Packs. Yeah, if I lost, if I didn't lose my lefties on Fini, this would have been so good. Um, this is actually kinda bad, I'm running out of Defog PP. And I'm like forced to keep wish passing into my Fini. Like some of you guys might not even think this team is that great, but I just feel like this team has some sets um, that the opponent wouldn't expect. For example, Farbunch and Jirachi, so they might stay in with their Pharaoh Thorn, because otherwise this team would be a bit weak to Pharaoh and Scizor. Just gonna off quick again here because he's gonna. Okay, he just keeps making the Glisco play. Yeah, I don't agree with how this guy's playing, but whatever. Um. Like, this guy's really playing awful in my opinion, but I will adapt. I will adapt to his playstyle. So I'm just gonna go for rocks next time. Yeah, I kind of forced to feed in the thing is. I only have 10 debugs left after this. This is bad. I'll taunt this so it doesn't get teeth bikes. 
Uh, if he tried to haste there, I'm gonna go Jirachi, try to wish Path my Fini back up. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> this is gonna take forever to upload, but I record most of my parts one day before they go up. Um, this is just a free turn. Every time he goes Glisco, I have to free his turn of my life. Like, I don't agree with his. I, I probably said it earlier, but I don't agree with his Sableye set. I don't agree with his Glisco set. I don't agree with his. Um, the way he's playing. Back to Fini to get the terrain out, but the problem just is that. Double Defog would have been hard this game if I did Zapdos or something. The G Sparks are here. Back to Torn. Should have Defog there, messed up, fuck my life. Goes for protect there, rip my life. Misty Turin is gonna end next turn, so now you can flinch my type of knee. Because I messed up, but thankfully he decided to switch there. And I can go for taunt here. Wait, why didn't I why didn't I go for Devog? I'm actually bad. Now he can scald burn me. And he does skull burn me, come on! So this is this is what he was waiting for the entire time that he can skull burn my type of fini. Rip. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he's going for protect all the time, but whatever. This is actually looking super bad now. So the way I'm gonna play this now is... Um, gonna sub up my Qurum here. I'm just gonna... Just gonna make him waste... Just gonna make him waste his Iron Hand with a Jirachi. Just go for Horn Claws because I don't want to waste another PP. And by going for Horn Claws, I force him to go for Iron Head the upcoming turn. This gives me a free Kaleo. So I just have to stall out 40 more Iron Heads. Thankfully, we, hopefully, we can do it. Um. The thing is, being burned on Tapu Fini is kind of nice. Hopefully, you can burn his pack. This would be so lovely. We don't get it. I'm gonna try to get it one more time. If I could burn his pack, it would be nice. What else, what else was I trying to say? Yeah, I finally burn him. Um, getting the the, the Tapu Fini, um, getting the Tapu Fini burned is nice in the sense that it can't get poisoned. And if he burns my Jirachi, that's not really that important. Jirachi is only needed for wish passing and fishing for burns with Fire Punch. Even though he has a Glisco which walls me, but I have a turn that walls his Glisco, so it's just PP management. Um, yeah, this might. For some of you guys, it might be super boring, and I doubt anyone watched the entire thing. If you watched the entire thing, big props to you. Oh, I forgot to say at the beginning of the video. Um gonna go Landris here. I um forgot to say at the beginning of the video I wanted to say um I wanted to encourage you guys to like the Skype group I have it's really interesting with team build together. Um you like you guys can just hit me up on Skype if you want to join this group. Should have said it at the beginning because no one is watching until this point. It's just a free torn. So he goes for sub, I also could have gone for rocks there. I don't know what this guy's doing. Free Jirachi here. Yeah, um so we have the scap where we build together. And we can really we are really happy about every um, new person that joins that we can build with because it's really nice to like um, to see how people 
how different people think, build teams together, ladder together and call. Um, this is an opportunity for me to get to know my subscribers, which is really amazing. Uh, it's like I'm just gonna make the Jirachi play, he's minus one attack. As long as he doesn't crit me, it's completely fine. Yeah, he makes a chancy play. I don't know if the wish goes first or if the... I think the wish goes before the burn, but I don't want... Cause so technically I can wish pass on the top of Fini. But I don't want to fuck it up, so I'm not gonna risk that. Like, I'm pretty sure that's how it works, but I'm really, really... Not trying to choke this game away. Um, let's just back into Jirachi here. If he, go, if he might go for Toss or Toxic, like this doesn't even matter, dude. Back into Torm we go. Let's just waste this PP. Completely fine. If he wants to waste his PP, let him. Let him. I mean, yeah, I'm wasting my U-turns, but I don't need my U-turn PP. Um, yeah. What else was I? What was I trying to say? Like I said, it's a nice opportunity to get my to know my subscribers, and. Not every Poketuber does this right, that you can like just... I mean, I'm a smaller Poketuber, so... But yeah, it's an opportunity to, for me to get... Um, so we can like build a community and we have better interactions, is what I meant to say, exactly. Um, just gonna go Jirachi here and wish. But yeah, big props to you if you're watching the entire thing. But yeah, I, I answer almost every comment. I don't get that many comments. Maybe I should start doing question of the day, something like that. Hopefully no burn. Amazing, now we can go into Tapu Fini, get some health back. But yeah, if I just play this patient, um, my Kyurem will murder him sooner or later. This Jirachi is out of Iron Heights. Like, Gliscor... It's PP stole to Liak yeah, Kyurem will murder him. Also getting the burn. The packs was really really nice. I'm not gonna stay in here though. Oh, this is just a free Kyurem here. Misty to is up every time. Just gotta pay attention to that, which is kind of hard. With only three or four hours sleep. Um, for some reason we faced some people in the 1500s this life, even though we were 1620, I think we were 1658 or something now. But yeah, at least I didn't lose there, because like, if I lost the second game that would have been so bad. Because we would have lost a lot of points. Climb back up, back up is annoying. Um, also let me guys know if you mind me using the same team over and over again. I might just spam this team for a few episodes. Because I feel like it's really solid and I would rather ladder with something that I'm comfortable with. I mean, I haven't tested it with every playstyle, but we saw it worked out with... I mean, I, I knew that one guy's arm t that the one guy was using an T, so... I obviously had the advantage there, because I, uh, I could look up his sets, but he hexed me so much. And the uh, first guy also hexed me, the team still won, so that says something about the team. I'm gonna make a risky play here and go for rocks. Because I never went for rocks, so at this point I think this guy probably thinks I don't even have stealth rocks because I never went for rocks. Yeah, this guy probably thought I don't even have rocks. <laughs> so this is also how this is also a way how you can lure your opponent in a false sense of security. You just never go for stealth rocks, so eventually they think, what, does he even have rocks? Like you just make a certain type of play over and over again. Get them into the mindset that you make the same play over and over again. And then you change up your playstyle and you can catch them with that, which is just amazing. Um, you turning here gives me a free switch into Kyurem, gives me, which gives me a free substitute, which means this Jirachi is forced to waste more Iron Hats. And we're just getting closer and closer to this guy and destroyed by Kyurem, which is amazing. Yeah, I don't want to waste any of my PPs, I'm just gonna Home Claws, like... Home Claws, um, so he's tempted to Iron Head again, like I already explained earlier. Because if he's tempted to... Iron Head again, he wastes more PP. He only has 12 left, he's probably gonna, go probably gonna go for rocks, exactly, nice play on his part. He has a free Toxapex here. So 
so we're gonna go for hydro pump to get some more damage on that skull doesn't do much I mean hydro pump also doesn't do much but we get some more damage at least and we have a free tornadoes here and he only has scald eight, 8 skulls left I'm not saying like I'm not playing this um, flawless but I'm playing this pretty decent um, I just have to decide whether I want Star Fox to be up on both sides. Oh, I also I have to probably try to play a bit more fast. If my internet dies, I'm gonna get so mad. Like, because yesterday at 2 a.m. and then my internet died. Um, at the weekend, my internet died at Saturday and Sunday. So I hope this guy hurries up. If I lose because of disconnection, this will be this will be heartbreaking, dude. I'm gonna rage if I lose the disconnection. <laughs> but yeah, it's 71 minutes now. Big props if you have watched the entire thing. I'm actually, I might actually just pause it real quick and um, switch up the song that I'm playing in the background. But no, no, I'm just gonna leave the song. Um, this is some new artist that I found out about. Um, I'm just gonna tell this guy. Like I, I guess this doesn't do anything. Like if he wants to, he can time a stall. Okay, now nah, I'm not gonna say he lives anyway. That's that's a scum move. Cause technically it's not over yet. He wastes the recover there for no reason. Just gonna click knock off here because I don't want to waste a U-turn and I can stay in for a turn, U-turn and next turn. If it's ch just into a chance here, we get a nice chip on that. We can U-turn the following turn, which makes him... So he kind of has to softball immediately. Um, almost immediately. Like, I don't know if he forced the softball if he wants to do. Um, I lost my turn of thought. What was, I, what was I talking about? Yeah, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. About this artist. Uh, the, the link to his channel or to the specific song. Um, it's not the first time I've listened to this, but yeah, it's some co really cool remixes. And I just want to click Iron Head or Wish. Yeah, I just want to click Iron Head in case he stays in. Yeah, this guy's so bad. Please get the f yeah, please get punished for that bad play, dude. Like, what the fuck is that play? You have a Toxapex. Why are you staying in? Yeah, he just sacked another Mon, so yeah. Four more to go, amazing, 171 turns. I might actually call this how to beat stall, even though this guy has a bad stall team and... This doesn't really count. I could go for the flinch here, which... I don't think it's worth the risk. I just want to go kill you here, cause he doesn't even have Woolworth, and I can just click uh, Scald. And if he goes Toxapex, he goes Toxapex. Like I don't really care. Like let him go Toxapex. Yeah, okay, let him go Toxapex. Who cares? Yeah, I might call this how to beat stall, cause it's taking forever, and I want to encourage you guys if you play stall on the ladder. Be patient, be patient. Don't reward don't reward stall players. Always bring some type don't be padlob. Don't be padlob and have no way to break stall. Um I, my my team isn't even that like besides QM I don't have much for stall, but QM alone and um Tornadoes Regen, Wish Pass from Jiraji switching around, skull burning stuff would kill you. I feel like I have a way to deal with stall. I'm gonna U-turn here, get my region back. So I feel like I'm gonna go tap a Fini now to get my defog off. Um, I had the rocks up, the rocks helped me out a bit. Cause I took to get with Chansey with Iron Head. And I just have to feel like the rocks can go away for now. So he goes for Haze there, as so this is just a free Kyurum. And we will just sub down again and forces Jirachi to waste Iron Heads. And if he doesn't want to waste Iron Heads, we will just sweep him. So let's go. 
if he didn't have to Girati set, we could have this game would have been over in like five or ten minutes, but of course he has to have this set. Goes for Iron Head. You can go for rocks here, but I'm gonna go into my landers here. Goes for Iron Head again, amazing! You have ten left, my friend. You have ten iron heads left as Gonna HP Ice, he has a mid ground play in case he goes Glisco. Catch him on that. Gonna let me put some nice let me put some nice faces in the chat. So yeah, what I wanted to say earlier, I wanna encourage you guys. You just spam HP Ice. Don't reward stall guys, don't be don't bring a team that's 6 out by stall, especially if you reach 1600 plus, you will have to run something to break stall. Let me just make this guy even more mad by spamming some smileys. Damn, this guy got fiddled on. Like, I played unnecessary save some turns, but I just didn't want to risk anything. And I still have to, I mean, I still have to think. Um, I can double into Curum here, which is unnecessary risky, so I'm not gonna do it. Just gonna go into Landris here. That's uh, so okay, he makes that play, so we can just off Greg, right? So force him to waste another recover. So he goes for foul play there, which is a bad play in my opinion. Off quick to make him waste more recovers. But yeah, I keep losing. I keep losing my train of thought. Quick again. Yeah, so if you just beat the stall players over and over again, they will eventually be tired of using stall. If I just get one crit also, this guy would be f done. But of course I don't get a crit. You can go Glisco here, but I absolutely don't care. I don't let you heal for free. I can just U-turn here because my landers is getting low, so... Not let it die, just gonna go kill you here. So he goes for Fall Blade there, which was a misplay because I would have to KO'd you. Just gonna scold here if you wanna go Pax, go Pax, be my guest. Um, Like the thing is, I have used Stall myself in hours a lot. I've used it just a little bit in Sun and Moon, but I know how to use stall, kind of, and I know this guy is not using it correct, which I can tell you guys that much. This guy does not know how to use stall. Your cheese spike doesn't even matter. I can even I can even go for iron head flinches because your glitch score is low, and I can try to flinch this down because with the burn damage, you will take um, I think burn damage is just like six percent every turn. How much percent does it do? I forgot. Yeah, Glisco is gonna. Hmm, yeah, never mind. I cannot beat this Glisco. But Glisco is just a free tornado, so. Let me tell this guy, do you realize that you cannot win? So now I have to make sure that I don't choke this away. If I choke this away now, I look like a young fool because I'm actually I'm not shit talking him, but I'm basically saying this guy you cannot win. <laughs> Thanks for wasting one hour of my viewers. So this guy just spammed substitute, which means I'm gonna use Janard. Uh, okay, let's not waste that. Let's just go hard rush. I guess he can off, but keep predicting that. But this guy's been playing really poor, so I don't think he's gonna predict it. Yep, he just goes for that, so back to Torn. Yeah, shoutouts to this guy ruining my video. Like, you could have forfeited a few turns ago. 
We didn't have to deal with. We, had, we didn't have to play this out. Like if he didn't sack all his mons, he actually had a chance. But like if you're off quick there, I'm pretty sure I live that anyway. Just the reason I made this series of plays. I mean, I can still fuck up and bring. If I bring my Cureman on the T Sparks, I can still fuck up. But I'm not gonna do that. He tries to skull burn me and he gets it, so that's some justice for him, I guess. I mean, I don't know why I said justice, but I mean that's some... How do you say it? He has been spamming skull, he did. He only got one burn so far. That's some, um... He's, he's happy with that. Um, he only has six skulls left. He can go for defog here. Um, yo, Jirachi only has ten iron heads left, so... Yep, we're coming closer to the end. Also, just Sableye is at 64, which means Earthquake is a roll to Trickio. Um, I'm just got Jirachi here. I'm just wish press my Kelio or my Landorus. Actually, this is not a good play wasting. I don't want to waste the Wish PP. I, I can just go cure him. I don't have to waste the Wish PP. I can just go cure him, get a free substitute. Yeah, this is, this is fine. Go ahead and switch your Jirachi in. Gonna hold claws again. Don't want to waste any PP. Yup, completely fine. Now we can go for. The now we actually gonna stay in. Um, but we're gonna calc first. We're gonna calc first because I don't want. I don't want to die. Curum Black. Custom Sad. Um, I'm at the 33 to 39. So, yeah, we, we we live a crit even. So, I'm gonna go for Fusion Bolt here. So, we catch him on the Stealth Rocks. We punish him for his play there. And if he doesn't get the flinch now, it's, if he doesn't flinch us, it's over. Yeah. GG. So, I decided there to. I said, I'm tired of this. I cocked, um I even lift the crit and Okay now I have to calc how much fusion bolt did earlier. Used fusion bolt uh did thirty percent so this is not gonna kill. How much is a fall play gonna do for the Mega Sable? Well fall play just in general. Doesn't matter if it comes off a Mega Sable or a regular Sable because it takes my attacks to um, if I'm at plus one, fall play does 58 to 63. Um, but yeah, he has to crit me to beat me here, pretty much. If he doesn't crit me, he loses. So yeah, he doesn't crit me, and yeah, we just take the game. I, I forgot about the... I forgot about the wish in the air, so yeah, I just misplayed there. So this is what I meant, I was getting too jive there, I was getting impatient. This is how you don't play with a stall. But yeah, the turns before I played really well. Um, you only have six recovers left. This is just a free tap of Fini. Now he lost. Also, we got rid of his stuff of Jirachi. So now we just get the default here, and he cannot get rocks back up. So yeah, this game is over. Um, so I basically made this guy think. Like I said earlier, with the with the Landros, who I never went for stealth rock, and then I went for stealth rock after a lot of turns. I also made him think that I will that I always switch my QM out so he wastes the Iron Head PP. And I took advantage of that. And he didn't go for Iron Head, he went for Rocks and got punished, lost his Jirachi. But even if he went for Iron Head, I lift that, so I just made sure that I'm out of range even from a crit. Like I know Pokemon is a game that like takes you It doesn't always reward the better play, let's put it that way. So I just wanted to ensure one hundred percent that this guy doesn't have a win condition, so Misty Turin is up. Now I just go into Curum, and now we can finish him off after 500 majillion ages. I mean, his Sable, I can still check my Curum. His Sable, I can still check my Curum, but he only has six recovers left, so it's only a matter of time. But yeah, can you play a bit faster, please? Because. His, his win condition is my internet dying. My, I got a new internet. Um, I'm not sure how to explain it to you guys in English. It's basically, 
it's a really um, specific internet because like I live in a small village and we have really really slow internet we had really slow internet for three years and there was an opportunity we found out about a few months ago that um, we could get faster internet right which was it's kind of expensive but it works and the way it works just gonna go torn here I don't have to explain the place this is super this is super um autopilot I don't have to explain anything um what was I trying to say Let me just go for HP rock in case he tries to earthquake to try to predict my u-turn Yeah, just some chip on Toxapex is fine. Um, yeah, I was talking about my internet, I lost my train of thought. It's basically... I will look it up in the dictionary for you guys, I don't know how to say it in English. Let me pause it real quick and look it up. So yeah, my dictionary only... Gave me one word. I wanted to just look up two words. So radio mast is the one word I was looking for. There's a radio mast like one kilo, like it's just 500 meters away from ours. I can basically see it if I look out of my window. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is, um, so that that signal that sends a signal to my, to my um, ah, uh, to the router. I really don't know the word for it, but I think it's like. Bowl is like the thing where you eat from, but there's like a bowl that is in front of my house. Not a bowl to eat from, a bowl that receives the signal to the, from the internet thing. But it's not a regular internet, it's a really weird internet. Um, I'm pretty moonblast here, or I can also... It's just madness predicting the packs. It's just madness predicting the packs sounds like a good play. So we hit, nice, nice, nice. Um, this is just a free cure and we basically so close to end this guy's career so this video is 90 minutes so big props if you watch the entire thing oh my lord dude I even missed my TV show that I usually watch around this time thanks to this guy wasting my time but what is important, it's 222 turns, you just stay patient with stall, they will make mistakes. Um, if you're patient, it will... GG. Yeah, it will pay off, we will save that replay so I can share with my friends maybe. Um, we're 1666 and this guy said respect for your 222 turn. Um, I wanna tell you, like I played um, stall in Aura, so 222 turns is not much. I had a game stall with a stall which was like 970 turns. So we only get 14 points. So this guy wasted like I think one hour. And we went 3 0 on this episode, which is amazing. Shoutouts to this amazing team. Also, our GXC is. Oh, look at the 1666. Nice and juicy ring. I mean, six, three sixes in a row. GXC is getting okay. We are 18 and 2. I reset my win loss ratio at one point, I think. I had three of I had like four losses on the lower ladder, so overall we are um I think we have like thirty six wins and five losses or something like that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you watched the entire thing, I don't know like if you didn't maybe um you probably didn't even understand what I was talking about with the internet because. Yes, you were probably you probably understand how what I was talking about, but I um, I explained it in the wrong way. Like I didn't really get the point out of what I was trying to say. I can only explain it in German. It's hard for me to explain it in English. But yeah, anyways, shouts to this guy wasting one hour or even more of my life and big 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 props to you. Leave a comment down below if you watched the entire thing. I know a lot of people are just gonna skip through it. And yeah, I have to I have to put how to beat stall in the thumbnail. Even though this guy's stall team is not the best, I said this multiple times. Um, this works versus other stall teams too. McCum has enough bulk, so Duck Trio cannot kill me with reversal. I think reversal does max 83%. 
So if I have a substitute up and I get leftovers back, I might be healthier than that. And so yeah, I just have to make sure that I have a substitute up before the, before I kill something versus uh, the regular versus a different stall team. So I cannot get killed by off quick into reversal from Dagi. Because GM is my main way of breaking stall. And yeah, this match took forever, but this basically was one... I don't know, this was kind of easy for me. At, at one point I got a bit impatient, but yeah. My opponent didn't play well. If he played better, he this could have gone like 1000 turns and I could have lost. But I, I like the way I played my Curum. And... Yeah. I want to shout out again. Um, I want to encourage you guys again, is what I meant to say. Um, if you're interested in the team build with me or with my friends, uh, please hit me up on Skype because we, we we appreciate all the new guys. I already said this uh, earlier in the video, but uh, I know a lot of guys might just of you might just skip to the end because this battle has been going on forever, and I want to get this out. I want to build um, c a community. I want to have contact. I want to be in contact with my subscribers. Um, I answer to all of your comments, besides uh, sometimes I don't really know what to answer. So I just put like a smiley or something, but most of the time I answer every comment. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and we are on the... We're doing pretty well, but I, I put a lot of thought into this team. About 70 or 50 minutes yesterday night when I built it, when I couldn't sleep. And... I'm kind of running out of ideas what to build around. The next thing I want to build around is sub focus bunch buzzwall, but it's kind of tough. I also I, like I did a bit, a little bit like I brainstormed a bit, and it was kind of tough to build around. Um, but yeah, that's for another time. Peace out, friends. Thanks for the support. Uh, the SBL coverage is coming next days. So I really pray to God that my internet will not die, <laughs> like it did last weekend. Um, it has to do with the specific way I receive this internet that it, we have some trouble at the moment. It will be solved in a few weeks, but at the moment I still have internet crashes every few days, so I cannot really do anything about it. It's too complicated for me to explain in English, but yeah, I'm talking way too long. I'm Doc Rich. I'm signing out. I will see you guys next time. Hopefully in the next short on life I will record, I will, do, I will start um, doing some edits, like I said earlier. And that's it. See you guys next time. Peace out, friends.